Hello everybody, I am Elio, and welcome to my playthrough of Pokemon White for the Nintendo DS. So, let's start a new game here. Hi there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Yes, this is Professor Juniper, the professor of the Innova region, which we are going to explore. <laughs> oh, it's been Cinco, so cute. That's right, this world is inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon, many mysterious powers, and she's pretty much going to spout the same nonsense that every professor does in every game. That's why I research Pokemon. Enough for me, tell me about yourself. Are you a boy or a girl? Well, I'm a boy, last time I checked. Please tell me your name. I am Elliot. Just so you know, um, I'm going to view the top screen whenever nothing's happening on the bottom screen, but whenever something's happening on both screens, I'm going to show you both. Yeah, she's gonna introduce us to our two best friends here, which is kinda weird, because they're our best friends. Don't you think we'd know about them already? <laughs> Elliot, the moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your new journey, the story will truly begin. During your journey, you'll meet many Pokemon and per people with pers different points of view. As a as a person, the most important journey, let's vis go visit the world of Pokemon. Winter. Yeah, there's seasons in this game, and to be honest, they didn't do as much with them as I thought they would do. I mean, there's like a Pokemon change of forms and it helps exploration in winter, but not as much as I would have hoped. It's alright though. Into the center house, which is obviously ours because it's in the center. We can have a Pokemon. This is our first friend, Ch Cheren. And here's our second friend, Bianca, who is late. Bianca. You have no sense of time. <laughs> kind of like me, actually. No, oh, whatever. Sorry, Ellen. Sorry, Turin. Oh, she's apologetic. It's alright. So, Ellen gets the first pick. Naturally. Elementary, my dear. So, go, Elliot, you go the first. Yeah. Meet the first Pokemon now. We shall, but first save if you want a Pokemon of a certain nature or a shiny, a shiny starter. And I'm gonna change the sec take speed just fast so we can get this playthrough done quicker. Well, yeah, open the gift box, and let's get our starter! So, our starter choices here. First we have Snivy the Grass Snake, and we have the Fire Tepig, and Oshawa. I'm gonna use Oshawa for this playthrough, because who doesn't love a sea otter? Seriously. Yeah, Oshawa's the w most well-rounded of the starters, and learns good moves, and uh, slightly m uh, more revered to its special attack and attack, really. And Bianca's challenging us to a fight in our very own house, which is a completely dumb idea, but we'll do it anyway. So, our first fight already against Bianca. Bianca is our first rival, as long as our, well as our friend. As I said before, we're gonna show, uh, when something, stuff is happening on both screens, we're gonna show both, and this includes during battles. So, Tepig, uh, Bianca is going to use the Pokemon that you're weak in. no, you're strong against, sorry. Tepic here, when Tepic is fully evolved, it turns into a beast. It turns in, um, Embor is actually a really powerful Pokemon and learns really versatile moves. So these rival battles, I pretty much just spam tackle and I never really lose. I never have lost spamming tackle really. I don't know why she keeps using tail weapons, it's not like it's gonna do anything. 
because I'm just gonna win anyway now. Even if, yeah. Say, tail up again? What are you doing? Ugh. Well, fun fact about the rivals, um, Bianca is actually white in a certain lang a certain language, and black, uh, um, in a certain language is Charen, so, yeah, both of your rivals are black and white, how about that? Bianca, take a look around, you destroyed my room. Whoa, what happened? Pokemon are amazing! They sure are, sorry about your room. You are completely hopeless. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, heal my Pokemon, Chiron. Hey, Chiron, how about you battle too? Turning the room into a disaster. I believe you're right. <laughs> He's so easily persuaded. But let's see what you can do, Snivy. And our second rival battle against Chiron. Chiron is going to be using the starter that you're weak against. So I chose Oshawott, so you know I've chosen Snivy. Snivy itself is probably the hardest to train of the starters. Uh, is because it's mainly oriented around defense. So its attack sets aren't much to be worried about. But um, in these initial rival battles, Snivy is always going to be going first because of its speed. It has enhanced speed as well. But as I said, I'm going to be just spamming tackle, so I'm going to win anyway. You'll notice as well that I'm so close to leveling up. The game is actually programmed to uh, stop you one experience point before leveling up. I know, it's so cruel. Pretty bit unnecessary. <laughs> That's how you know it's a Pokemon Let's Play. Or playthrough, or whatever. Whoa! And I got our first level up, that's awesome. 500 Poké Dollars. Made a strength wonder in my first Pokémon, uh, finally a trainer. And so are we, we better come to... Okay, so let's go downstairs then. And our friends are here apologizing to our mother. We clean up. Cleaning up, don't worry. Aw, oh, I'm so helpful. Let's go see Professor Juniper, but Bianca wants to go home first. Okay then. And they're just gonna leave and do their stuff. But Mum wants to talk to us first. My my, Elliot, Pokemon Vines are lively. Can you hear the cries from down here? First Pokemon Vines... Oh, yeah, sure, we need to rest. Ooh. Pokemon are looking great. How about your cross transceiver? Yes, it's the cross transceiver, not the X transceiver as it might look. Go to the Professor 2, better get going. Indeed we shall. So outside here, we'll be seeing some Woobats flying by. Nintendo is obviously showing off. Well, Game Freak, they're the real developers. At day, they're peed they're pedoves flying away and not Woobat. No no a thousand times no! I'm a good trainer, got a Pokemon and everything, it's totally going on an adventure. Looks like Bianca's dad doesn't approve of this adventure. It's fine, I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab. Okie dokie then. There's nothing much else to do here, so let's just go to the lab. By the way, what a day, what a time to be starting an adventure, a winter night. <laughs> let's go meet the professor. And we're in a cutscene, it just moves automatically here. Inside. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. My name is Professor Juniper, we know your name. Come on, come Sharon, time to, to make things live like there. Whatever he's in there, that was funny. Started stay. We already had Pokemon battles, so that's why uh, Pokemon is already beginning to trust me. Yes, let's nickname our Pokemon. I'm gonna nickname my Oshawott Daikenki after its final evolution. Japanese name, because Daikinki always sounds just sounds awesome to me. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I didn't start it. Now you have to you already studied. Let's explain for everyone's sake. You know, just in case you've never played Pokemon before. Well, I guess this game kind of is oriented to that in a few ways. Yeah, let's go on an adventure with a Pokedex! Yay! And Poke Trainer as we always wished. Pokedex! Next, we need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Meet me at Route 1, okay? 
Yes, the roots have already uh, have reset back to single digits, which I really like. Instead of having 300s and stuff. That always... It, kind of weird how it was stockpiling me. What was that sign? Wait, what are you... Whoa. <laughs> Bumping into my back. Complete the Pokedex? Ah, actually, I can't believe it. <laughs> That's funny. And a town map, which we are never going to use because this game is actually really linear in terms of the story. Man, I don't want for you to be like a... Thank you so much. Your room? No worries, I'll clean it up. It's so cute, but they have the power to destroy a bedroom. Oh, they have much more power than that, believe me. If you play the other Pokemon games, you know. <laughs> If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. Well, I guess it is helpful for when you want to go to other places. So, they're going to go on to Route 1, uh, but we're going to save that for the next part. So, see you then.